let us look at proposition number 15 of book 10 of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says, if two commensurable magnitudes are added together, then the whole is also commensurable with each of them. And if the whole is commensurable with one of them, then original magnitudes are also commensurable. Okay, let's see how to prove this. Given two commensurable magnitudes AB and BC. AB is commensurable with BC and they are added together. Now, since they are commensurable, that means some magnitude D measures AB and BC. Since D measures AB and BC, it measures the sum also. So, that means D measures AB, BC, AC. So, which means AC is commensurable with AB and BC. There is a common measure for all the three. So that was the first part. Now let's look at the next part. Let AC be commensurable with AB. Now what the proposition is saying is that then AB and BC are commensurable with each other. So some magnitude D measures AC and AB. D also measures the remainder BC. So D measures AB, BC and AC, which means AB and BC are commensurate. So proof is pretty straightforward. So that was proposition number 15 of book 10 of Euclid's Elements. Again, let me remind you, there is a link to a PDF book which describes all these propositions in detail. Please feel free to download it, refer to it. And if you think somebody else can also benefit from it, please do share. That's it for now.